Hey guys, this is Logyab123 here, and today I will show you how to make some animations that will um, that will be used with a camera to follow uh, different people uh, before the world start. So let's start by creating a new world. Then let's put some blocksters. And then just select one. And you will put on play those uh, a color or uh, a texture or a face, uh, maybe a bad face, then a weight function, and returning to its normal face, so a happy face. There we go, and you will set that a bad face will follow. And don't forget to adjust the weight function to the number of seconds and the number of time you want it to uh, follow the blockster. So uh, briefly, when uh, it's going to start, the blocksters will change texture and the number of time this texture will be on, it will follow the blocksters. And then you want the other blocksters to know when uh, it will stop following this guy. So you will put a signal. Then, on the second blocksters, you will set that the signal will uh, change his color face, for example. It will do the same thing. Put a wait function, adjust it to maybe 5 seconds, and then the the color that will um, change will uh, when it's going to be this color that change it will follow the guy and after it it will send a B signal then the third guy do the same thing B signal those this this or maybe with another texture. No, the super happy face, then back to normal, and the super happy face will follow. There we go. And just in case, we put uh, we already put a CSAN, but we can remove it because we don't have any uh, other blocksters. But the same steps are repeated for each blocksters you want to. Um, interact in the scene. So let's start. So there we go. It's following this blocksters and then this one and then this one. Oh sorry, it may um it didn't work for that I um I don't know why. I'll just put that again. So um, sometimes when you are uh, playing with uh, your finger, when it's changing the camera angle, um, it can uh, sometimes not uh, work properly. And mm, what the hell? So we are going to put colors because it seems that it don't works pretty well. And there we go. So it follows the blocksters once um, each time and after it finished it don't follow anything. But if an object is moving, it will automatically lock the camera on it. So now let's put some dialogues between the blocksters. We are going to use only two blocksters because it's way more simple. Let's put our two blocksters, one front on the other. 
and then on play he will speak and then after speaking it will automatically send a nice signal and before it it will change color and we can um, already predict uh, some of the things that are going to uh, be so we are going to put our other um, speak function and you will see how it will work so again when it's pink is following there we go and then so as we see um, as we uh, read here on play it will turn into uh, pink then it will speak and after it it will turn into uh, brown and send a nice signal so going back to this girl the ice signal will change his skin color and speak between the skin changes and then send a B signal and when she is um, pink it's following her and then when he will receive the B signal he will speak again another thing and then return um, to brown color and then send a C signal and then again we can repeat all the same steps to um, to every uh, every dialogues we want to put between the two characters so as you can see there is a limits for the dialogues if we use the A signal I don't find uh, I didn't find any other uh, ways to do it uh, maybe the only other way is to use wait between each uh, speaking but you have to uh, synchronize it with the speech bubbles duration and if we have um, some buttons on our uh, speech bubble like um, next for example well this function will not work with a wait function because it will not synchronize so just customize a little bit the um, the speaking function to make sure it's uh, understandable uh, so we can see that is going one and the other so the first dose uh, says hello so she will says hi and then the guy will says how are you and then the girl will says Great, thanks. So let's start that. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great, thanks. Maybe it's more uh, good, but whatever. You can see that it works very fine. And even if we put some button like this, it will also work. And it will wait before it will wait uh, the speech bubble to close. And to close it, you have to put the button. So then it will go. Unfortunately, the speech bubbles don't. Uh, you cannot assign a specific signal to uh, each buttons on the speech bubbles. So that is very um, unfortunately that it doesn't have it, because it will uh, add so much complexity to the dialogue. So we can choose the answer and it will do say something um, for each answer but Bloxwell app is not at this level uh, at this time so now you know how to make some dialogues and some cameras changing with signals and speech bubble um, hope you like it 
Hope you enjoy, and if you want, uh, I'm on YouTube as LilGap123. You can subscribe, you can just view my videos. I'm very happy right now. I am, uh, I have more than, uh, I have pretty 20 subscribers and more than uh, 100 videos view. So I'm very happy for that. And if you want me to continue uh, making videos, uh, you can comment or subscribe and I will know that you like my videos. So thanks for that and see you next time.